Hello everyone, I'm Craig Shields from Two Green Energy. Welcome. Today I've got my friend here, Rafael Casada, the CEO of Tower Harvest, who's going to talk a little bit about aeroponics. But before we do, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you. It's okay. a pleasure. Good. Let's talk about aeroponics. Maybe we should start with a definition. Aeroponics is uh, uh, literally air and works in the same way that hydroponics is water and works. Um, and aeroponics uses some aspects of hydroponics, but mostly what it is is the plant hangs its roots in air and is growing in a uh, nutrient mist, if you will, okay. inside of a grow column that allows it to access as much oxygen as it needs to maximize its growth. Okay. So the grower monitors how the plants are doing and it makes adjustments on the fly, would you say? Um, some part of it that's true, but mostly the plant is making its own decisions. It's one of the easiest ways to grow food uh, because the uh, actual oxygen, uh, access to it whenever it needs it, is crucial to its growth Excellent. and the plant has as much as it wants whenever it wants it. I see. It's actually probably better than growing it in dirt in that sense. Yes, better than growing it in dirt or in water, which is the hydroponics. I see. And uh, it's, uh, in, it, it actually makes available all the nutrients needed for growth in a way that's instantaneous, whereas in the earth, the earth has to decay yeah. aspects of, of uh, certain minerals and, and organics before the plant can make use of it. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Tell us a little bit about Tower Harvest. So this is, you're the CEO mm -hmm. of a company that has, I understand, a unique approach and capability to aeroponics. Tell me a little bit about that, please. What we started to do is uh, go after the um, food deserts in places where there are no food, and in terms of changing industrial agriculture from being a distant business operated by corporations that may not even reside in our borders, mm -hmm. we're growing food locally. Okay. And the model is to put it on top of a grocer, literally, or mm -hmm. a restaurant, or in a community where it's surrounded by grocers and restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, and provide the food at a zero carbon footprint, meaning that there is no transportation needed to get the food from San Joaquin Valley or from Yuma, Arizona. Um, or from Chile and Argentina right. in many cases. Yeah, some of these things come a ridiculously yeah. long way to get here. Right. Okay. So it literally cuts the cost of food in half. Okay. And uh, so our business model is that we grow for the uh, business interest that is a grocer, typically is not a, uh, a farmer. We provide those services and enable them to have food that is fresher by two to three weeks more nutritious because we have actually given the plant uh, specific nutrients needed for its maximum nutrition, more colorful, more uh, flavorful, all the reasons that you go to produce, mm -hmm. it, we provide it in spades. Okay, but let me understand this. You're at the same time a manufacturing uh, organization, am I right? You right. have a unique approach to actually building these towers, thus the name Tower Harvest. Right. It's a patented system mm -hmm. uh, that uh, is constantly improving and uh, allows there to be a usage of space that is otherwise wasted and has heretofore been wasted uh, because we come out of a tradition where we think of square footage and what we're using is cubic feet. We're, yes. we're going vertically mm -hmm. uh, on towers that allow the food to uh, maximize its growth. If you spread the, the tower open, you've got a lot of square footage actually, okay. but you're using it in the vertical space and that is the key advantage that uh, allows us both to grow faster, grow more densely, and uh, provide better foods ultimately. Okay. Once you're out of, out of the soil, you eliminate 95% uh, of your problems. That's amazing, okay. Raphael and his company are looking to raise investment capital for the expansion of their manufacturing capability. Um, anybody who's interested in that should simply hit the contact button uh, and uh, leave your information. I'll return your call or email immediately. Raphael, thanks so much for being on the show. I thank you. That's all we have time for. Thanks for being here.